I hope I have a big presence in Louisiana. I probably will in, in Washington. I hope I'm back and forth between the two places. Tonight, his Democratic colleagues from across the state honored him. Things that Bennett has been involved in over his service in the Senate are going to be here for a lot longer than either myself or Bennett. They're real projects. They're going to be here for generations to come. Education, highways, port development. A thousand people turned out at the Fairmont Hotel to bid Johnston a farewell. Among them, the two Democrats hoping to fill his shoes. I'm going to fight hard for the people of Louisiana and Washington, to fight hard for the middle class families and the working poor, people who are really struggling. I've just done such a wide range of things as Attorney General that will put me in good stead to being a United States Senator. The field is a crowded one. Aside from Mary Landrieu and Attorney General Richard Ayub, there are at least six Republicans in the race, including David Duke and City Councilwoman Peggy Wilson. I think Mary Landrieu and uh, Richard Ayub are two outstanding candidates. Right now they're running one and two, and that would suit me real well to have those two in the runoff against one another. While Senator Johnston was being honored inside for his 32 years of political service, he was being dishonored outside by the group Greenpeace. LAS out of Forest Grove. LAS out of Forest Grove. LAS the environmentalists call the retiring senator a nuclear puppet. I can't believe the Louisiana Democratic Party would honor a man who has done so much damage. I mean, J. Bennett Johnson has done so much damage to um, poor communities and communities of color with these nuclear um, policies of his. I haven't heard about that. They're a day late and a dollar short. J. Bennett Johnston will be the first to tell you he is used to controversy. But now with only three months left to serve in the U.S. Senate, he's looking more forward than ever to resuming his life as a semi-private lawyer. Reporting from downtown, Kim Holden, Fox 8 News.